That's a first. Cap just broke. Now I've just a spoken overview of the blaster and what I've done to it. Uh, starting off with the paint, I did a black vinyl dye primer, a Bahama blue base coat, and then I did green sponge camoing throughout the build on the stock, on the barrel, on the scope, 
uh, on both sides. So it looks very, very messy and that's all intentional. And then I topped it off with a 1K clear coat. Externally, the paint is very well done. Uh, it's gonna last a long time. And if I do end up scraping it up, I really don't care. I personally made sure that this looked sloppy on purpose with the, the sponge camo. And that's to make it look like crap. I did. I purposely made it look like crap, guys. So you guys are being like, well, it looks so messy. It's like, yeah, it's kind of a point. Uh, the sponge camo is if like, I drop it on concrete, which will eventually happen, and uh, chip it. I really won't give a crap. It's, uh, it's phase proof at this point. <laughs> Uh, the slim points I left uh, unpainted, and then as you see the gray on these two points right here, the way that this breaks down, you can actually take this part off and this part off and just paint this base bar if you want to, and that's what I did. When it came to the strife internals, I gutted everything. Everything in the strife was pretty much gutted. The wiring, the switch, the motors, the flywheels, and the flywheel cage. This is now running off of a worker 43.5 millimeter crush cage. Uh, like containment crew cyclone wheels and the vane revamp motors on uh, 16 gauge wiring going to an XT60 in the battery tray and a 21 amp Omron micro switch. This gets me about 119 feet per second average which is really good performance and that is exactly where I want it to be sitting right now. I don't want to exceed 130. I definitely don't want to exceed 140. God forbid I do that. And I've put over... <laughs> The first day when I finally got this thing fully assembled, I put about 5,000 rounds through it. I shot it for about five hours straight. <laughs> I loaded up all my mags that I could, and I just shot the crap out of this thing. And the performance, the groupings, I'm very happy with it. It's performing exactly how I need it to perform. And it is now my new personal HVZ Strife because of how nice it runs. Um, the trigger is very well lubricated, nice and sloppy, and, and wet. It's nice and, and nice, nice crisp wet, wet trigger pull. Uh, stock rev switch because or rev trigger, sorry, uh, because I actually like the stress rev trigger. It doesn't bother me like a lot of people think it would. Uh, extended floppy mag paddle because I like it. It makes reloads. Just a little bit easier to to get. Uh, okay, everyone knows this. Uh, I constantly run this on any strife I use, stock, modded, whatever. It's always on that strife. Now, the way that this barrel lug is designed is there's an actual spring in this one. I'm not flipping you off, but the spring uh, on like the modulus one isn't there, so it actually will lock in. It will stay in there, and you don't have a risk of it falling off. Um, so the barrel's on here to actually prevent it from doing that because now it can't go anywhere. And then on top of that, I run my flashlight attachment here for night games if I need it. And then the barrel, I just like having it on. It does drop performance a little bit actually, um, but I don't care. It's a nice blaster, so. Um, that's my modified Strife. This is Phantom, guys. This is a project I've been working on for about two months now. Thank you to you guys, the viewers, for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you guys like what I do here and you want to help support the channel, make sure to comment, like, share, you know, do all those things. Please consider subscribing because it is free. You guys can always change your mind later and unsubscribe. But hey, subscribe. And remember, guys, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't. Neither are my opinions. Stay safe. God bless. Phase out.